First up, a call from John in Raleigh, North Carolina, who needed a Hail Mary to save his business from an ex-son-in-law. Whoa. Let's take a listen. This is the Entree Leadership Podcast. John is next. John is in Raleigh, North Carolina. Hey, John, welcome to the podcast. What's up? Thanks, Dave. Um, I am a businessman all my life, and uh, I've I've turned over my company to my daughter and son-in-law, sold it to them four years ago now, and so they have banking payments and the like. And I did it with a lawyer locally, <clears throat> and I went through the whole process with, if you've done, known Beyond Survival by Leon Danko, I did it with that book, and I followed that plan exactly, of God and Guinness with Steve Mansfield. So I was all about trying to do that, and it was before you had the Legacy um, series, so I didn't have that to fall back on. The contract I signed, long story short, my son-in-law has now left my daughter and now their family, and he's chosen money over the marriage. And the contract only stated that, I mean, if they quit making payments because they, they couldn't make them, it would come back to us, but they're making, the payments are easily being made. And so there's no correlation in there of um, you got what no the calls company's of action. worth. Yeah, you got nothing you can do. Is that what you're saying? Well, we have to define the the company's um, value. It wasn't predefined in the contract. So if I was going to do it again, I would have had a predefined. If you're going to leave my daughter, you're just going to. No, I'm sorry. What do you mean you didn't pay. define the value? They're paying payments and they don't know on how much? No, the payments are being made. No, no, no. Now I'm sorry. Did you not have a sale price? I had a sale price from me to them. Yeah. So what's the value right. got to do with anything? What do you mean you have to define the value? Well, he's 50% owner of the company, and now he wants his 50%. Oh, so the the divorce court is asking for a valuation of the company. Yes, sir. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. How, how long have they owned it? Four years. And three and a half. He left about six months ago. Okay. So what's the, uh, what's the gross right? revenue? About $10 million. What a heartbreak. Heartbreak it is. Everything's being destroyed by this butthole. Oh, my gosh. Um, okay, well, the problem is, John, that you are not in any position of power. You're just the bank mm-hmm. now. Yes. I mean, you're, you're a grieving father, but you're, but financially, contractually with this with these people you're just the bank and the bank can do nothing as long as it's getting its payments and the bank is not involved in the valuation and the bank is not involved in the liquidation the bank is not involved in any of that uh so he wants his half in cash that's his negotiation in the divorce correct okay has your daughter got a good attorney like one that's so mean that she doesn't even like them Yes. That's the one you want, because I want somebody going after his throat here. So I, I guess the, the, he has no right to demand the liquidation in the divorce proceeding any more than she has the right to just say no. Correct. So, I mean, what I would do is just say no. We're not going to give you your half. You're, you're a half owner, and you'll get half the proceeds if, if profits are distributed if they're distributed, you. this is your daughter talking, not you, because you're just the bank, okay? Mm-hmm. So we're advising mm-hmm. her right now. But uh, if I'm negotiating with him, I would go, no, I'm not going to pay you. I'm not going to buy you out. You're just half owner. And, uh, and you know, who's the, uh, the president of the company? That would be her. Okay, so she can fire him. He's out of the building, right? No, he's been gone for six months. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's we, soft. We, that's soft. Yeah. So she's running the business, and she will mm-hmm. make the decision about any profit distributions. If Correct. profits are distributed, he'll get his half of the Correct. profits as long as as long as she wants to do that. At some point, she may want to offer him a buyout, but today's not advantageous to her. So no, I'm not going to buy you out. I hear you. Now, do you have any money? 
Yeah. How much? Oh, probably a million. Okay. And what's this? Um, what's this um, net profit on this thing look like? Two and a half million. Jeez. Okay, so we got a ten million dollar company in valuation, not just in revenues. Okay, um, give or take. So half of it's five. Um, so what I'm going to do is starve him out. Because his, uh, morally, ethically, his rights to this are zero as far as I'm concerned. Are you agreeing with that? Completely. Yeah, so I'm just going to starve him out. He gets nothing. So here's the way that looks, okay? Uh, you you get, just got to work with the attorneys on this. I'm not one, but this is the strategy I would employ. That, no, we're not going to buy you out. You'll get half the profit distributions if there are profit distributions. And then my strategy will be that there's not going to be any profit distributions. Your daughter's going to take a nice salary, and we're going to reinvest all the profits to grow the company. And there's not going to be profit distributions, so he's not going to get anything. Yeah. And once he sits yeah. there for a little while with nothing, then I'll offer him like a million dollars for his half. That's probably yeah. worth five right now. Okay, but I want I him. I want him a little. I want him a little hungry right now. He's confused and thinks he's in power. That is correct. I want to correct his confusion first. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, that's all the way I know how to play this. Um, or somehow beat him down or beat him up. I mean, if you, this thing is worth if if it's net profit, taxable income of two and a half million. At a, uh, at a at a twenty five percent you know cap rate twenty five percent rate of return it's worth fourfold or about ten million dollars you following me on my valuation yes sir okay it's cap rate approach to valuation but it's pretty close and if that's the case if you could buy his half out for a million I'd do it today but I don't think Goober Boy is going to settle for that right now oh well, he might I mean he's just basically stayed unemployed and has another woman and I just it doesn't have any do money. That. I, I want him to sit with no money for a while, at least. In, if you can buy it for a million dollars, it's a deal for you. Now mm -hmm. you own half again, and your daughter owns the other half. And then let me tell you what I would do. I would buy 1% of hers from her, and you're 51% owner, and I'd get this ship righted and reset this thing and reset the terms in which it is resold to her later and forgive the loan. Because you're now the 51% owner. You're the majority shareholder. Mm -hmm. Forgive the loan, collapse the loan back into the company. And uh, because it's not worth anything anyway, she's got to pay it. And you don't want that position. To, you don't want her in that position. And then you guys get this thing up and either resell it or resell it back to her with completely different terms and different default clauses in the, uh, you know, in the process. So our... Stuff is done in trust, and it states that only people that are blood Ramseys can own it as a protection against divorces. There you go. That would have been good advice to. Yeah, to it's a little, little late. Little it. late. Sorry about that, but right. I mean that's that's the, but that's your future gig, right? Let's pretend five years down the road she's gotten remarried. The guy's a great guy. All that. We're not going to do this again. We're going to sell it to her and the covenants, the warranties, the trust documents, however you put the thing together, are going to state blood only can own stock. And gotcha. that, that just, there's no, uh, there's, it's, it's against the, the shareholder agreement for anybody outside the family to be an owner then, the blood family. And so that, that keeps uh, in-laws from getting confused. They think they're outlaws. That's a special contract because divorce is always, it doesn't matter. I mean, no, a divorce can, a divorce can, I guarantee you, a divorce is not going to violate this trust I wrote. I'll guarantee okay. you. I mean, I've I spent a bazillion, if it does, I'm going to kill a lawyer, but um, because I spent so much money with him. I'm telling you, no, I'm, this, this stuff is iron. We've, we've gone over it and over it and over it and over it again because we didn't have our kids do prenups <clears> and they're, they're owners of this company now. It's that good. It's that good. The agreement. It's that okay. good. But it's a trust. The, 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 gotcha. the, stock, the LLC stock is held in the children's trust, and the only participants in the children's trust is the stinking children, not their in-laws. And so if one of my grandkids it becomes an inheritance of that, it goes to them. They get married, have to be a Ramsey blood. 
Got to okay. check the old DNA or you're not in there, baby. So well, anyway, you got to go. Anyway, before we get there, you got to go back and clean up all this mess. And you got some negotiating to do among tears. So how long has this been going on that uh, boy child's out there sleeping around and left your daughter? <laughs> Well, it looks like it goes back to 2018. I mean, how long has he been out of the building over there? It's been since uh, since Memorial Day. Okay, last so, year, so about nine months. All right, y'all been going through hell, man. I'm so sorry. It's such a heartbreak because you go from anger to tears to anger <laughs> to tears, and you got this whole business thing all twisted up in there too, and it just it breaks your heart, <laughs> and you go, God, I wish I'd, have, God, I wish I'd, have, God, I wish I'd. Have. Well. You know, I think you get a deal if you drop three quarters of a million dollars on the table and buy him out for cash. But if he wants to be greedy, we can also set it up where he gets nothing long enough that his greed goes away. Yeah. There or you the go. number on his greed changes, whatever we want to call that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I hear you loud and clear. And um, yep, you're right. Kids involved and everything. So it's just, uh, it's, that's ugly. Yeah, I'm so sorry. How, how old is your daughter? She's 36. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you, you and I are the same age. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm, when I read your books, I'm that guy. So yeah. uh, it's uh, it's fun. Business is fun. There's always something good to look forward to. And uh, I'm a classic uh, trying to outsell my stupidity all the time, as you put it. So yeah, it's, we'll keep going. This one was a hard one, but that's. That is the way it is. I like your. I like what you're saying. Well, good luck with it, brother. I, I don't mind in these situations. Uh, if you're going to pick a fight, our goal is not to pick a fight. But if you're going to pick one, we're going to win it. And that's that's you know, take him to ground. He he brought this on himself. Take him to ground. That's what I would do. Um, some of y'all out there think I need to be nicer. Well, try divorcing my daughter and see how that works for you. <laughs> <laughs> 